Hey, welcome back to Beer Geek Beer Reviews. And this evening, I'm going for a bigger beer, should I say? One that I haven't had, but it's been out for quite a while now. Um, the bottle that I found was back in, like, uh, it was bottled, I believe, in uh, September. Maybe even August, late August. But because of the type of beer it is, I think that it actually held up pretty well. But we're about to find out. Here we go from Sierra Nevada. We're going to be doing one of their uh, collaboration series, as you can see. It's got a cork in it. Uh, this is the Ovilia. This is their triple. Now, I have not had the triple, but I've had the quad. And the quad was, I loved it. So let's go ahead and pop this open and see what we can't get out of this one, okay? Um, glassware may or may not be appropriate for this, but it's just what I decided to go with. So let's see if we can't. Gently pop the cap. There goes the cork. Here it is. And I'm going with the little goblet style this evening. Do this very gently so we are not disturbing some of the yeast that's in the bottom of this. Now it will all fit in here. Very, very nice. Um, some people like the yeast, some people don't. Uh, as with this, it holds up true to the the coloring. I mean, it's got that uh, unfiltered look to it. Um, as for carbonation, if you guys can't see this, let me see if you can. Mm, there you go. Carbonation streams very nice. Uh, coming up from the bottom, this is not an etched glass just a plain goblet style glass. Um, on here it says uh, the Ovelia Abbey Triple, golden in color and brilliant foam hi um, hide an incredible depth of flavor, which we're about to find out. Uh, it maintains a perfect balance between lightly sweet and bready malts, floral hop notes, and a fruity aromatic of a traditional Belgian yeast. Triples were First created by Belgian monks, and this beer is homage to the original Blonde Abbey Ale. This only comes in at 8.5 or 8.8, a little over 8.5. Um, says 12.7 full ounces. Heads already kind of dissipated. I'm just left with that little, you know, ring of, I guess you could say, afterhead. Uh, anywho, let's go ahead and get an aroma on this, shall we? Oh, yeah. Uh, fruity esters. Very light. I'm getting a bit of, like, almost like a soda quality to it, though. Like, almost apple-y. Um, but that, that Belgian yeast is there. I'm getting a bit of banana. I'm getting clove. Very light. Very effervescent. <sighs> Smells wonderful, man. Let me go ahead and dip into this because uh, it, there's not much of a hop aroma, but it, it just smells inviting. Gross. Very light, very smooth, very almost got a creamy quality to it, but there is that sharpness to it as well. Kind of condescends myself, but. Um, the Belgian yeast is there. It's not very strong. It could be because of the age. Um, but overall, I'm still getting that uh, Belgian yeast. I'm getting the uh, the clove um, very upfront. Banana esters are there. Um, it, it's very bready. I'll give you this. It's, it's very bready. Uh, got kind of like a light fruit note, kind of like a, a light mango, light papaya, uh, very soft fruits. Um, overall, I, I do enjoy this so far. I would kind of like want to compare this to uh, the Duval. That is a, a very good beer to me, and this this is kind of up there. I mean, it's uh, it's not on par as the Duval, 
but at the same time, I do I do like it. I mean, I'm getting this biscuity malt quality to it. I'm getting the Belgian yeast flavors, but at the same time, I mean, the hops that the the bittering to this one has to be in the low teens to you know low teens. I would probably say at no more than like 25. Um, because they're they're there to kind of balance it out, but at the same time, they're not there to give any type of bitterness quality to it. I mean, what was it? Um, Duval um, also does a single hopped edition, and those are just phenomenal. I, I, I loved every one of those that I've tried so far. Uh, as for this one, I want to go out and I'll throw it out there. I do prefer the quad over the, <laughs> excuse me, the triple. Um, quad was spot on. This one here, it, it's, like I said, it could be due to its age, but very light, very, I mean, you can't, you cannot tell that it is 8.8% .8 alcohol. I mean, it's very easy drinking, but overall, I, I wish I could have actually had this one fresh, but I did not see it in my area till now. I mean, this was a hard one for me to get. But other than that, I'm going to say, hey, if you find it, I would give it a try if you haven't already. Um, it's still worth it, in my opinion. But other than that, it's just a good beer to drink. Man, this has been another Beer Geek Beer Review review. <laughs> anyway, peace, pros, deuce, and as always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Don't drink and drive. Don't text and drive. Save your money, man. You need it for your beer. All right, man, I'm going to have to get up out of here. Peace.